Dear students, good morning, namaste. This is online classes, mathematics, CS, IMCS, if you know it well. Uh, and we are in the chapter straight lines. Already we completed some problems related to CE, CET, and uh, also we started some problems in the J means. That is a typical problem, some sort of solved. J means somewhat different. Okay, now. So, uh, four problems are uh, completed. Uh, now, some more uh, problems are there. Four or five, I think. Uh, some problems are given. Okay, now. These are also related with uh, J means. You see, the midpoints of sides of a triangle are the three vertices are given. Then the ortho center of the triangle. You see, then. Uh, it's a very good concept, is it? Different models. All these problems are asked in the uh, different uh, years of J means. Okay, now. The midpoints of sides of triangle are given. You see, I draw the diagram. Suppose it is a triangle. Say it is a uh, a, B, C. The midpoint, the 5 comma 0 is the midpoint of B, C. And the midpoint of A, C is 5 comma 12. And the midpoint of A, B is 0 comma 12. Why I am taking the, it is a horizontal. So, Y coordinate is 0. So, it may be taken as horizontal. It is a vertical. It is a same. Okay, now. Here we are asked to find the ortho center. Ortho center of triangle. You see, here a very good concept is there. In order to find the vertex, here say it is A, D, E, F. D, E, F. Here A, F, D, E is a parallelogram. A is equal to, observe it. A is equal to F plus E minus D. The coordinates. That is 0 plus 5 minus 5. Okay, now x coordinate. Next, 12 plus 12 minus 0. Okay, now. Is correct, uh, that is uh, F plus E means the coordinate X coordinate of F X coordinate of E and uh, minus X coordinate of D. That is the meaning. Here it is. Uh, it is 0, 24. Okay, now. So A is 0, 24. Next, in order to find uh, B. B is D plus F minus E. D plus F minus E. That is the procedure. A short method. Or otherwise, it is very difficult to find A. A very simple. Okay, then. B is D plus F. Because B, D, E, F is a parallelogram. In order to get the coordinates of B, D plus F minus E. Here A means F plus E minus D. Like that. Here 5 plus 0 X coordinates minus 5. Say 0 plus 12 minus 12. So it is 0 gamma 0. B is a 0 gamma 0. Okay now. Now in order to get a C C is equal to Actually, C is not needed, but uh, I want to say. C is equal to C. Uh, D plus E minus F. What is D? D plus E means 5 plus 5 X coordinates only. Minus 0, comma. Y coordinates 0 plus 12, minus 12. Okay, now. It is a 10, comma, 0. 
So this is C. 10 comma 0. Now you will see very clearly it is. Okay, right? very good concept is there. You try, you try to learn it well. Here V is horizon, it is X axis. 10 units. This is a 10 units distance. The total is a 10 units. And it is a 0 comma 0 horizon, it is Y axis. 24 units is there. Because 0 comma 24. A, B is 24. B, C is a Okay, now, 10 units. So, it is a right angle. We can understand it. B, at B angle, angle B is equal to right angle. So, triangle A, B, C is a right triangular. That implies orthocenter is orthocenter is B itself. That is 0, 0. Okay, now? Okay, now, in a right angle triangle, the vertex itself is orthocenter. Or the vertex 90 degrees angle is there. B is, how can I say 0, 0, 10, 0. 0, 0, 0, 24. It is on y axis, it is on x axis, it is horizon. So it is a 90 degrees. It is a right angle triangle. Very clear. So in the right angle triangle, the vertex is orthocenter. Which vertex? At where 90 degrees is there. Okay, now, nah, right. Suppose it is not related, the question is over, the answer is uh, uptight. But if you are asked to find a circumcenter, suppose, circumcenter, it is not asked. Uh, circumcenter is the midpoint of, it is a midpoint of, okay, now, nah, midpoint of hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Okay, the hypotenuse is yes. That is equal to 5 comma 12. This is a circumcenter. It is a orthocenter. That much of concept is there. Okay, no? the very good problem. Please, not it further. Next. Second one, the area of triangle whose vertices are given. A is equal to, what is A? A cos B sin. I am writing A sin. A sin means A cos. B C means B sin. And B is equal to minus A sin and B cos. C is equal to minus A cos minus B Sin. Okay, no? not A, C, A cos. C means it is the cos theta. S means sin theta. Okay, no? Area. A formula is there. Area is 1 by 2. X1, Y1, 1. X2, Y2, 1. X3, Y3, 1. Like that, uh, X1 is this one. Yes cos theta b sin theta 1 minus a sin theta b cos theta 1 it is minus a cos theta minus b sin theta okay na? 1 that is equal to 1 by 2 of it is in determinant that can be expressed it is A cos theta of B cos theta into 1 B cos theta minus of minus plus B sin theta minus B sin theta of second uh, uh, element it is uh, deleted this column and row it is minus A sin theta minus okay right? it is not A sin theta A sin theta is correct it is minus minus uh, a cos theta plus one of this road column is deleted it is a b sin square theta it is a b cos square theta yes. okay now 
it is also ab cos square theta plus ab cos theta sin theta minus plus minus into minus plus ab sin square theta minus it is ab cos theta sin theta uh, <coughs> here it is ab s square plus ab c square means cos square theta. Here ab c into s means cos into sin not cs minus ab cs is cancelled. You see there here it is ab cos square theta here ab cos square the two times ab sin square theta everything. So 2ab is taken cos square theta plus sin square theta that is 2 to cancel ab into 1 cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 so ab so ab is a, the correct answer ab square units the area of the triangle so the last option b is correct ok now that is the procedure so here is this formula is important Next, third one. <coughs> if capital A is cos alpha sin alpha, sin alpha minus cos alpha, 1 comma 2, are the vertices of a triangle ABC, then as alpha varies, that is not uh, important, alpha varies means alpha is variable, a parameter. Then the locus of, here is the very good concept. The locus of centroid is asked. You see, capital A is cos alpha sin alpha. Capital B is sin alpha minus cos alpha. Capital C is equal to 1 comma 2. Let centroid G is equal to centroid of triangle ABC that is equal x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 that is cos alpha plus sin alpha plus 1 by 3 x1 x2 x3 comma sin alpha minus cos alpha y1 minus y2 plus 2 by 3. The formula. This is a H comma K. Okay. We observe. Whenever we are asked to find the locus, the equation of the locus, or simply locus of something, always locus of a point is there. That point may be centroid, that point may be the, the circumcenter, or so whatever it may be. The locus of a point means that, that the point follows a condition. Here the condition is this one. And uh, you see that uh, alpha is 30 degrees, alpha is 45 degrees, alpha is 90 degrees. Then A, B, C coordinates are changed. According to the change of coordinates of A, B, C, the triangle will be changed. At one time here, at one time there, at one point there, at one point here. Like that, uh, according to the value of alpha changes, the triangle also changes. If the cha uh, triangle changes its position, then automatically the centroid also moving. What is that uh, movement of that, uh, uh, that curve centroid? The centroid is moving according to the position of different uh, positions of triangle. That if you join all those centroids, we get one curve. What is that curve is asked? You see, at that time we have to take h comma k. Always you take. This is 3h minus 1 is equal to cos alpha plus sin alpha. 3k, 3 into k, 3k minus 2 is equal to sin alpha minus cos alpha. Okay, now 3h minus 1 square, 3k minus 2 whole square is equal to 
c plus s whole square plus s minus c whole square. s means side, c means cos. It is 9h square plus 1 minus 6h. 9k square. Okay, na? 9k square plus 4. It is done. Expansion. Okay, na? Minus 6 to 12k. Is equal to cos square plus sin square plus 2 cs plus s square plus c square minus 2 cs plus 3s minus 3s cancels here 2 times of c square plus s square that is 2 into 1. We know it cos square theta plus sin square theta cos square alpha plus sin square alpha is a 1. 1 into 2 is 2. But here uh, it is over problem almost all. H square means x square. 9x square plus k square means y square. Minus 6x. 9, 6, uh, H is there 6x. Minus 12k means 12y. Okay, we can here 1 plus 5 is a, 1 plus 4 is a 5. Okay, we can now you send this one. I write here. Okay, now. Only one step is there. Okay, no, no. It is a nine x square plus nine y square minus six x minus twelve y. Five minus two is a plus three. So with the three you divide it. Three half x square plus y square minus two x minus four y plus one is equal to zero. So that answer is there. The third. Okay, let's see after. You get it? It's a good one. Yeah, just pass. Okay. The next problem. Three problems over. Next. Third. Fourth one. You see it. You know, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. I raised that uh, first three problems and then I wrote uh, in three problems. All together, uh, the previous uh, four problems, here is the uh, seventh. Nearly 11 problems are up for different types of questions from the straight lines which is related to the J means. Okay, fourth question, fourth problem. A stick of length 10 units, it is 10 units length, rests against the floor and the wall of a room. If the stick begins to slide, on the floor, then the locus of its middle point. A very good uh, concept. Please observe me. It is a floor. We assume it is a floor. Okay, now it is a wall. Okay, now it is a wall. Say it is a x-axis. We assume it is a y-axis. A stick is there like this. A stick is there. Say it is AB. Its length is 10 units. Its length is 10. Very clearly I am giving the picture. Okay, no? It slides. Slides means at one time like this. At one time like this. At one time like this. Is there. So it makes some intercepts. Say it is uh, A comma B. It is not given. We are assuming it is a line. It is A, it is B. Okay, now. Then there is the triangle OAB. A square plus B square is equal to 10 square. That is equal to 100. So, okay, now. Because the length is given. This is a sliding means it is like this. At one time it is like this. At another time it is like this. At one more time like this. It may be vertical. It may be horizontal. According to the position of the line AB, the center point, I mean the midpoint, it also changes. Like this it is going on. Like this or like that, we don't know. 
Then what is that set of points of midpoints of A? That is the locus. Okay, no? The locus of, here we are asking the locus of midpoint of the line. Okay. We are assuming this A, X and S would be A, Y would be. So here it is in the triangle, OAB, it is a right angle triangle. Uh, by Pythagoras theorem, A square plus B square is equal to 10 square length 100. But uh, we assume this uh, midpoint is P H comma K. Assume it is a H comma. It is let it be P H comma K. It is a midpoint. Okay, no? midpoint of A B. We assume. Then what is P? P is the midpoint of A means it is A comma zero. It is a zero comma B na. So it is A plus 0 by 2, 0 plus B by 2 midpoint. So it is A by 2 gamma, B by 2. It is H gamma K. So A is equal to 2H. B is equal to 2K. That is a uh, condition is there. From the condition we get that uh, result. You substitute in this one. It is 2H whole square. 2k whole square is equal to 100. Okay, right? That is 4h uh, square plus uh, 4k square is equal to 100. That is uh, 4 of h square plus k square is equal to 100. H is uh, termed as x, x square plus y square. Whenever <coughs> an equation is obtained, uh, in the variable h and k equation that is the equation of locus but we have to change h as x k as y and it is 100 by 4 it is 25 so it is x square plus y square is equal to 25 is the locus of the requirement okay then like that we have to solve the problems now we will see the next problem Okay, this problem is over. Okay, then. next fifth one. The equation of a line cutting the intercepts three units on a negative y axis and inclined an angle tan inverse 3 by 5 to the x axis. Then the equations, the equation of lines. You see, it is origin, it is a minus y axis, x axis. Suppose a line is like this. This is uh, 3 units. But uh, the point B is uh, 0, comma, minus 3. Because it is on y axis. Minus y axis. So minus uh, 3 is correct. 0, comma, minus 3 is a point where the line cuts the y axis. Minus y axis at B. So that uh, intercepts are uh, 0, comma, I mean minus 3. So we get to 1 point 0, comma, minus 3. But here is the angle is tan inverse 3 by 5. Okay, now alpha is equal to tan inverse 3 by 5 means tan alpha is equal to 3 by 5. Tan alpha means slope. Slope, na? It is a slope, na? Slope m is equal to 3 by 5. So, the slope of line is there and it passes through a point. Equation 2 required line is y minus y1 is equal to m of x minus x1 y minus of minus 3 m is 3 by 5 of x minus 0 so this is 5y plus 15 minus minus plus 3 5 15 it is 3x1 so it is uh, 3x minus 5y minus 15 is equal to 0. So, okay, now going to that side. So, 3x minus, uh, where it is? Uh, 
3 x minus here is there then. Here is there. It is uh, uh, not that one. Here is there. Uh. You observe it. Or otherwise it may be done. If you change it as uh, 5y plus minus 3x, uh, this is uh, plus 15 will come. So it is also not that one. I think it is uh, this one. Yes. Okay, now, like. Next, uh, we'll go to the next problem. The equation of straight line passing through the point uh, minus 3 comma 5 such that uh, the portion of it uh, between the axis dividing by the point uh, in the ratio 5 is to 3 interlinear. Then the equation of line is a very good concept. It is also a good concept. I will tell one formula is there. 20 formula itself is there. You see. It is other than x axis x. A line is like this. It is a required line. A point is there P. That point is x1 gamma y1. And it uh, divides the portion AB. The portion AB of a line is made up of by the coordinate axis. It is the intercepted portion. This is a portion of line AB is made by the coordinate axis x and y axis okay now that is intercepted portion that is divided by the point p in the ratio m is to n okay now? at a m at b n not m is to n right m is to n okay now then automatically its equation okay now equation to required line Okay, now passing through a point, that point divides the portion intercepted between the axis uh, internally, m is to n. Is formula, it is nx by x1 plus my by y1 is equal to m plus n formula. That is a direct formula. You see here m is 5, n is 3. This is minus 3 comma 5. So, n is 3x by minus 3. m is 5, y by, y1 is again 5. It is 5 plus 3 directly. So, it is minus x plus y is equal to 8. Or otherwise, x minus y is equal to minus 8. Or x minus y plus 8 is equal to 0. You see that. Is there a x plus y? Ah, yeah, yeah. Here is there. Okay, then? The very good formula. The formula is there. The next, the last one, we complete that day uh, in bits. And I will send uh, tomorrow, I will post. Whoa. Uh, some problems related to the coordinates, simple problems. I didn't uh, uh, teach that the coordinate bits on the online classes on the coordinates and the straight lines. Coordinates means the distance between the two lines and uh, given what is this uh, of a triangle are given. Then you find whether it is right angle triangle or uh, equal triangle, isosceles triangle, and the ratio problems, uh, section rule. Centroid, Arthur, like that one. Very simple problems. They are related on the concept of coordinates. That one is uh, straight lines. Altogether, I will give uh, a bunch of problems through some papers I sent and posted uh, to you people. Please, you observe it as an assignment to solve it. Today, we will cover this one by last problem. Next uh, chapter is the circles. Okay, now circles. That the concept is very less in our uh, uh, theory part, but it's somewhat we have to learn it. Okay, then circles and conic section. Okay, all these things, many problems will come to in our uh, CET and JS also. JS also. So, uh, observe the last problem is the 
the straight line, three lines are given. x plus y is equal to 0, 3x plus y is equal to 4, x plus 3y is equal to 4, like that. Form a triangle dash. It's a very good problem. <coughs> a triangle is there like this. Side is uh, x plus y is equal to zero. First line. It is a 3x plus y minus 4 is equal to zero. Second line also. It is x plus 3y minus 4 is equal to zero. Third. I have to find this form triangle by these times. Side is a b c. Is uh, isosceles. A right angle triangle, this isosceles. Isosceles, a right angle triangle, a regular triangle, I like that. Generally, the students may solve, may do this problem a traditional method. By solving these two, we get a point. By solving these two, we get this point. By solving these two, we get a point. A, B, C. And then finding the distance A, A, C, A, B, B, C, like that. Then if it is followed by Pythagoras theorem, it is right angle triangle. If sides, two sides are equal, then it is isosceles. All sides are equal, it is a regular angle. But it is a lengthy one. But in a simple way, suppose A at A and is alpha. Cos alpha, you assume that cos alpha is A1, A2 plus B1, B2 by root of A1 square plus B1 square root of a2 square plus a b2 square, like that. So here is a a1x and 1x plus 1y, 3x plus 1y. So 1 into 3 plus 1 into 1 by c1, c2 are not there. It is root of 1 square plus 1 square root of, it is 3 square plus 1 square. So it is a, a simple, it is a 4 by root 2 into root 10, root 2 into root 10. That is uh, 2 into root 2 into root 2 now. That 4. Root 2 root 2, 2 root 2 is 4. It is root 2 into root 2, root 5. It cancels out, so 2 by root 5. Okay now, cos alpha is that one. Similarly, I assume this one, beta. Cos beta is here also, 1 into 1, same formula. 1 into 1 plus 1 into 3, okay, then 1 into 3, by root of same, 1 plus 1 squares, it is 1 square plus 3 squares, same, same, it is also 2 by root 5, so therefore alpha is equal to beta, two angles are equal, that means isolated triangle, yes, okay, if you want to find this one, may be equal or may not be equal, so we solve cos gamma also. 3 into 1 na, plus 1 into 3 na, by here it is a, uh, 3 square plus 1. Here also 3 square plus 1. It is 6 by root 10 root 10 tan. So it is 3 by 5. It is a different one. Okay na? So only alpha and beta are equal. So it is a isosceles uh, triangle. Isosceles. Okay, then, like that we have to go. Okay, then. so we discussed uh, in many different types of problems. Please, you go through it well. According to the chapter straight lines, any problem you ask in the exam, you can uh, happily you can write that the uh, solution of that problem. If you learn what I taught on the board, okay, then. please learn it. Thank you.